Hello, my royalty is for like kings and queens. I pray that you enjoy an our Sabbath day, okay? All right. Now, with that being said, let us continue with the fall of Kadi, part six. The fifth tablet records the arranging of the signs of the zodiac and other constellations and ordaining of the sun and moon for signs and for season. In the seventh tablet, we have the creation of beasts, cattle, and creeping things, told in the eleventh line recovered. If more should be found, we shall doubtless come to the creation of man. We shall then assume that the color tablet, independent as it may be of the series of seven, yet gives us a clue to the contents of the absent second tab, and in some measure uh, supplies its place. We shall do this because, number one, whereas the third tablet tells of a war in heaven already begun, the color tablets narrate the projecting and planning and commencement of a war by the gods. Number two, the third tablet tells of beings already in revelish. The color tablet gives us the creation of beings who afterwards rebelled it. Number three, these beings correspond very much with those who are making war with the gods in the tablet. In tablet three. They are half men and half animal. Compare line 31 to 33 of tablet 3 with the lines 10 to 12 in column 1 of the cutter tablet. And there is yet a further correspondence in this direction. Another tablet has been found from which an abstract is given in appendix F, entitled, The Story of the Seven Wicked Gods or Spirits. These are called it, the angels who were in rebellion in the first days, who in the lower part of heaven had been created. They also were in the likeness of animals. Let us observe the eleventh line. The fourth was a serpent, the Delish, and the darkness are connected with the rebellion of these spirits also. Their number seven agrees with that of seven kings who were brothers among the rebels in the cutter tablet. And again, this re this reminds us of the dragon, of the dragon, my people, which is the serpent, okay? In Revelation chapter 12, verse 3, who has seven heads, and up on his heads seven diem. All these coincidences, see, all these coincidences seem to weld together into one narrative that of a war in heaven in the first days with the archer at serpent and the angels who kept not their archer at state the third and fourth tablet of the creation series the cutter tablet the story of the seven wicked spirits and the short notices of the rebellions in the new testament of the angels spoken of, we shall have more to say afterward. Let us now observe how exactly the different account agree in the points already indicated. Number one, as to the intervening between the beginning and the creation of the world that now is the first tablet after telling of the first beginning of things Continuous line 13 and 14. Long were the days extended 
was the time until the gods and you, Bel, and each were born. Number two, the first creation spoken of in the tablets after the creation of the gods is that of the angels that send it. Number three, the judgment upon them they represent as taking place before the sequence, the sequential creation related in Genesis chapter 1, verse 3, to end. And before the waste and the isolation alert to in Genesis chapter 1, verse in Genesis chapter 1, verse 2, in the color tablet, before the re rebel hosts were even created, it says, line 8, On a tablet nothing was then written, and there were not left the carcasses and waste. And when after their sin, war is projected. The speaker says, line 30 of column 2, when I have done, when I have done, may corpse and waste be left. This place, this place is the war between the first and second verses of Genesis. Even if we had no other note of the time. Number four, the agreement of the tablets with the New Testament about the casting out of the rebel host will be clear to all who read them. Number five, they agree even about their being kept in bonds. In, in line 31 to 44 of the reverse side of the fourth creation tablet, we read uh, verse 31, line 31, my bad. They bear their sins. They are kept in bondage. Number 44, over the gods in bondage, he strengthens his watch. Also, see also line 37, 40, 41, and 45. Number 6, the words of 2 Peter chapter 3, verse 5 and 6, leads us to suppose that the water by means of which not the world that now is, but of old, the world that then was, perished, or was laid waste, was an instrument of judgment, rather exercised it naturally or supernaturally, is not said, to be compared to that future fire which shall dissolve the world that now is. So there's a future fire, my people, that's going to destroy this world, okay? Will this agree the words of the tablet about the uh, pre prime evil judgment? Line forty nine of the uh, line forty nine of our verse side of the fourth tablet of the creation story reads Then the Lord our Father endless lifted up the devil is his mighty weapon. And line seventy five and the Lord our Father endless launched the devil is his mighty weapon. And in line 18 to 20 of the story of the seven rebel wicked spirits, it says of them, the flying clouds of heaven surrounded them, the downpour of the skies, which in the bright day makes darkness, was attested to them. Number seven, the tablet mentioned darkness as a feature of the scene. It is quite consistent with any part of the narrative in Genesis chapter 1 and with the statement in other scriptures about the future judgment and the new creation which is to succeed it, of which the first was a copy, that we should suppose the darkness that was up on the face of the deep to be the obscuration of previous existing life. When the word of God, our Father Endless said, let light be and light was, we have in these words plainly a different process described it from that which is announced it in the words used it for the creation 
of the heaven and the earth, of animals and of man, a different process even from the making of developing into their present order and form of the substance created. We are not told that light was created or made at that time. It is reasonable to infer that it had been obscured as we are told in all predictions of the future judgment. It shall be then. It shall future judgment. It shall then be. Darkness is named it in all of them, but it is a temporary veiling of the light. The heavens shall be covered with a cloud. The sun shall be darkened and the moon shall not give her light. As such, the tablets describe the darkness in the Archer Act, foreshadowing of the future. We have already noticed the lines in one which speaks of the flying clouds of heaven and the downpour of the skies, which in the bright day makes darkness as belonging to the scene. And again, in line 22 of the Oscar side of the third creation tablet, we have, Then they marched their forces. They created darkness. Number eight, as the narrative of the war is proceeded in the tablets by the beginning of all things, so is it succeeded by a restoration and an arrangement and a new creation, remarkably in accordance in accordance with the first chapter of Genesis, as in Genesis the words used of the light, the firmament, the sun, moon, and stars do not suggest the idea of creation at that time, but would be appropriate to a restoration of order and utilization. The process in the ordering and development of things so far as the partial discovery of the fragment enables us to judge is the same as in Genesis. After the conquest of the dragon, which is the old serpent, that devil, the fourth tablet continues, line 50 to end. Then his father, each, beheld and rejoiced it at the Savior. He caused it, the spirits, to bring a peace offering to himself. So the Lord, our Father, endless, rested. His body he fed. His body he feeds. He lit up the sky, the sanctuary of heaven, rejoiced it, and he presented himself before the deep, the seat of each. Then the Lord, our Father, endless, measured Kirmar. Then our Father, endless, measured Kirmat, the offspring of the deep, the chief prophet made of its image, the house of the firmament, Esarah, the firmament, which he had created to be the heavens. The chief prophet called and you, Baal and each, to inhabit as their stronghold. The fifth tablet proceeds with the ordering and naming of the constellations for signs and the ordaining of the sun and moon for season. In the seventh tablet, we come to the creation of beasts, mighty monsters, living creatures, cattle, and creeping things. The first line of the fifth tablet, translated by Professor Sora, he prepared the twins mentions of the great gods has been rendered by others the it was beautiful all that was fixed by the great gods if the latter be correct it harmonies is striking with the statement in genesis that all was very good of the previous creation professor Sor tells us the Babylonian had always believed that the world had been created out of water and that the present creation had been 
preceded by an earlier creation. 